Hello YouTube, so this is G from Hotel Ibel and this week I'm staying at the Holiday Inn Bangkok in Sukhumvit. What a great place. I have a couple of surprises in store for you, so please do stay tuned and see what those are. The hotel gave me a double upgrade to a junior suite. There are two television sets, three telephones, enough space and the suite does look pretty nice. But I want to start outside and show you what they do here. When I arrived the room was sealed and they do this after checking the room since COVID. They have a decent sized workstation for YouTubers like me, comfortable seating and a television right here. I am on the 26th floor and the view is pretty good. You can see down there is the SkyTrain track. We have tea and coffee facilities. The bar fridge is not stocked, but there is a QR code which you can scan if you would like to have it stocked for you. There is certainly enough space for all your clothes as the suite has a four-door wardrobe. This wardrobe hides the in-room safe. The bedroom area features another TV, a king-size bed with four pillows, an alarm clock with an iPod docking station, and there is a door between the living room and the bedroom area if you want additional privacy. The bathroom is stocked with two bath towels and two hand towels. There is another telephone behind the toilet, might be a little hard to reach. And the bathroom appears to have all of the amenities you would expect from a four star hotel, including face cloths. If I had to create a tagline for this hotel, I would say that it's a four star hotel at a three star price. So far I'm very impressed. The suite is very nice, nice carpets, very clean, pretty modern fittings and everything that you need in a hotel room. The location is great too. We are right here on Sukhumvit Road. The M Courtier shopping mall is not too far from us. We have plenty of public transportation around here. We're right on the SkyTrain track. We've got two stations, one on either side. There are taxis, motorcycle taxis, tuk-tuks, and buses going up and down the road. At the top on the 29th floor, there is the Maya Indian restaurant. I'm gonna go there tonight. On the ground floor there is a burger joint. I noticed that they serve milkshakes. I'm definitely going to try those out. On the 8th floor of the hotel, same floor as the pool and the fitness center, is the Zeta restaurant where they serve their breakfast as well as lunch and dinner. So I found myself here at the Angel Bar 22 and there are a couple of angels over here too. I'm going to have a beer right here and this bar is right across from the hotel which is right over there. As any local will tell you, Sukhumvit Road is rather busy, so I would try to avoid it during peak hour traffic. I'm at the hotel's pool. It is drizzling a bit, but this would not be a complete review if I did not go for a swim and tell you how it is. Check out the kiddies pool. And there is plenty of seating here for mom and dad to observe the kids while they swim. It's like an oasis up here on the 8th floor. There's plenty of trees and shrubbery. There's even grass. It's really hard to believe that I'm in the middle of Sukhumvit right now. The pool area is very nice. I can only imagine how nice it must be on a nice hot sunny day. I am in the hotel's fitness center now and it is a pretty nice place. Um, there's some nice music playing, televisions, uh, there's certainly enough equipment, it's very clean. They provide hand sanitizing, wipes, towels, drinking water. So here's a familiar sight. Shower water leaking where it shouldn't. However, this hotel actually installed a gutter system which channels the water towards the drain. It definitely keeps the rest of the floor dry. Well done, Holiday Inn. I'm not at all a fan of the shower being in the bathtub, but that said, this is a great shower. Good water pressure, nice rainfall shower, good temperature. Let's say I will come try out the milkshakes here on the ground floor of the hotel at this burger joint, which does not, by the way, belong to the hotel. But yeah, it's not great. 
It's very creamy and there's some ice in it. So on here we have the poppadums, we also have a um, mango pickle, I think it was tamarind or something, and mint of some sort. I am already full and I haven't even gotten to the curries yet. What a spread. I must say I was a bit skeptical when I heard it was buffet, but so far the food is really good. Great quality, certainly a very big variety, very good presentation, service is good too. And all for this amazing price of $7.50 very good. So this apparently is called a tandoor and this is where the Maya restaurant prepared their non breads as well as their kebabs. Apparently this is 400 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I know I said that I'm full, but there's always more space for ice cream. The restaurant was really good. I would definitely recommend this Indian restaurant, hands down. Really great food, very good presentation, fantastic service. Incredibly inexpensive price. The only thing I have energy for right now is kicking off my shoes and going to sleep. That was a good night's sleep. The bed is nice and comfortable. I certainly had enough pillows. The room is nice and quiet. Shall we go see what breakfast is like? So all of this all you can eat, right? Yes. Okay. It's same buffet. Okay. And would you like some coffee or tea first? Yes, please. Cappuccino. Yes. So I was just informed that they have the live station, which I suppose is more for the cold foods. And then they also have this menu over here, which is your warm meals. Oh, and some other things too. And this is eat all you can. So let's have a quick look and uh, give it a rundown. They have continental breakfast here. There's an American breakfast. They also have um, yogurts, juices, cereals, cheese plates cold cuts, eggs, this Japanese breakfast, Asian breakfast, there is toast and beverages and some local specialities. So it seems like it's a pretty comprehensive menu. Now this is how I would like to start my day every day with good morning written on my breakfast plate. These sausages are those uh, processed sausages again so they're just okay however the deciding factor for me is bacon and the bacon is pretty good omelette is very good great service so a few notes about breakfast the American breakfast I ordered should have come with sauteed mushrooms and hash browns which it didn't but I suppose I could have just asked for it these salt and pepper shakers they have here reminds me of the democracy monument here in Bangkok so I am a little bit worried about is that for me? Yes. Oh, thank you very much. This is watermelon juice. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. So I was about to say that I'm a little bit worried about wastage in this restaurant and the fact that service might be a bit too good and they just brought me more things. What a great stay. So this is what I did not particularly like about the hotel. I was worried about food wastage at the restaurant this morning during breakfast. They kept on bringing me more food which I did not order and I did not eat so I can only imagine that all of that food goes to waste. Although fair enough, I think that they were trying to just make me feel more welcome and maybe they also did it for the sake of this review. But still, it's a lot of food to go to waste. Then my bed linen needed some attention, my sheet was torn and my duvet cover was creased. COVID safety measures, everything looks pretty good. 
I would have preferred if they had hand sanitizing at the elevators because there's a lot of touching going on there but they only had hand sanitizing on the ground floor outside the elevators. There are tables with a courtesy phone in every elevator lobby on every floor so there's plenty of space to put another bottle of hand sanitizing. What I really did like though was the fact that they had this little packet which you could ask for which contains a mask, a hand sanitizing gel and wet wipes. And now for the good stuff. The staff here are amazing. Every single staff member I encountered was super friendly, very helpful. The whole hotel is very clean and it really does look good. It looks very glossy. The location is really great. Plenty of public transportation, plenty of restaurants, shopping to be done around here, lots of street food, very easy access to the BTS SkyTrain system. But the number one benefit for me, great value for money. Really exceptional. At 1,500 Thai baht for a very nice room, for great service, all of the facilities that they have here, the location, I think it's really, really good. Well, that is my review of the Holiday Inn Bangkok Sukhumvit. Please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon. Also, please like, share and please do comment. Tell me what do you think of this hotel?